Hello, mi amigos, ramen coming at ya, and welcome back to Who Remembers, a series where we talk about shows you probably forgot about. Today, we're talking about the show Yin Yang Yo, a show about kung fu, magic, and bunnies. I know, weird, but stick with me. So, get ready to relive your childhood and learn about Yin Yang Yo right here on another episode of Who Remembers. Yin Yang Yo aired on a channel called JetX. Remember JetX? Who doesn't? We had shows like Power Rangers, Puka, Super Robot Monkey Team, Hyper Force Go. I know it's a long name for a TV show, but stick with me. So, Yin Yang Yo is a show about a pink bunny named Yin and a blue bunny named Yang. Both Yin and Yang are trained by Master Yo. Yin is skilled in magic and Yang is skilled in fighting. You know, I think there is someone else that can explain the show a little better than me. Someone cheesy. Someone burgery. Time to bring in the big guns. Oh, make burger! Last week, my delicious donut friend Ramen came to me and asked if I would speak to you guys a little bit about what makes Yin Yang Yo such an awesome show. Yeah, nailed it! All right! First of all, if we are gonna be talking Yin Yang Yo, we have to talk about that theme song. That son of a bitch was so catchy. It's been 14 years and it's still stuck in my head. In a long chaos and disarray, brother and sister save the day. Yin Yang Yo! The early 2000s had a ton of great cartoons. Yin Yang Yo is able to separate itself from the rest of them with how great its animation was. Yin Yang Yo uses flash animation. Usually when you think of flash animation, you don't think of wow. Like you don't. You don't you, you don't think of wow. You're like, Ugh. look at Johnny Test. That animation is disgusting. But somehow, Yin Yang Yo has great character models, they have great animation, and it's a fast-paced comedy. Somehow, they are able to achieve this with flash animation, and for that, you gotta give them props. When mixing martial arts and comedy, it is very rare for that combination to actually work, but Ying Yang Yo is able to achieve it with ease. Master Yo is hilarious. He's probably my favorite character in the show. He reminds me a little bit of Bender. He's just like a no shits given type of character. Really funny guy, last panda on earth. Bob Boyle and his team did a phenomenal job on Ying Yang Yo. Unfortunately, it didn't last as long as you would like. To be honest with you, I'd probably still watch it today if it was on. That's gonna be it for me though, guys. I'm gonna keep it short and let Ramen finish it up for you guys. I really do appreciate you letting me come on to your show, buddy. You guys have a great night and I'll catch you in the laters on the Minjays. Thank you, McBurger. Such an awesome dude. Wonder why they call him Mick Burger. Anyway, time to get into the character bios. This is the part of the show where I list the main characters of the show and explain what they're about. Starting with Yin. Yin is smart and sassy and is stubborn. She is trained to master Wufu, which is a type of magic. Yin can chew energy waves with her hands and can also use Wufu spells whenever she needs to. Then we have Yang. Yang is skilled in fighting, and he can also summon weapons like a flaming sword, a boomerang, and he can also turn his hands into giant flaming fist. Something I wish I can do. It will make cooking food a lot easier. Yang is naive at times and is very violent. He also acts on impulse rather than logic, but over time, Yang learns about working as a team and he learns to think more strategic. Then we have Master Yo, a wise, lazy, and sometimes flatulent panda. 
Master Yo teaches Yin and Yang how to fight and how to control their Wu Fu energy. Master Yo is one panda you don't want to underestimate. Then you have Carl, the evil cockroach wizard, Yin and Yang's arch enemy. Carl also possesses magic, using it for evil. Carl is always scheming to destroy Yin and Yang, but he fails due to his overbearing mom and his lack of focus. Carl is shown to be stronger than Yin and Yang, but he is always defeated by Yang and Yin because he's not very bright. And then you have the Night Master, who is the big baddie in this show and is always hiding in the shadows. He is defeated by Yin and Yang in the final episode, proving once again when might and magic work as one, a villain's plan can be undone. I'm sorry, I couldn't help myself by not saying that amazing catchphrase. There are also side characters in this show, like Yang's love interest Lena, who was a dog. She's Yin and Yang's best friend, and they fight over her constantly. We also have Coop, Koop at first is shown to be a nerd who has a crush on Yin, but she's not interested in him. Koop joins the Night Master because the Night Master promises him once he rules over the world, he will have Yin all to himself. Koop is also shown to have enough power to defeat Yin and Yang. But during a fight with the Night Master, Koop saves Yin and Yang by holding the Night Master down, killing both him and the Night Master. But he does return, so all is good. Now that you know the characters, I want to talk about why this show is so amazing. I want to go over my favorite episodes, my favorite moments, and overall my thoughts on this classic JetX show. Who do these guys think they are? Excuse me, excuse me, if I can have your attention. For the last few months, Yin and Yang have been running around the world of JetX messing with us. Yeah, and we're sick of it. This is ridiculous. Oh, pellets, they have carrots up there. Must fight rabbit urgers. Yeah, I agree. Chiro, are you sure you're not just mad about this? Guys wearing scarves went out in the 70s. Red? Who wears red? Why isn't he in pink or blue? What's wrong with him? I've changed my mind. We should do something about this. How do we find them? How? 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 <coughs> oh, you must be Yang. Did I forget to mention how much I like red and orange? That's enough, enough out of you. Want more comedy? Want more action? Watch these and your favorite shows on JetX every day. Like my awesome friend McBurger said, Yin Yang Yo is made using Flash. Now, most modern cartoons nowadays use Flash, like Adventure Time, We Bear Bears, and yes, even Teen Titans Go. This show does have one major issue, the backgrounds. The backgrounds look washed out or bland, but the characters are nice to look at, so it's a 50-50. I remember running home to school to catch a new episode of Yin Yang Yo. This brother and sister duo using magic and fighting was like candy to my eyes. This show uses writers from shows like Sixteen, Clone High, and Danny Phantom. Yin Yang Gil also takes inspiration from anime influenced shows like Teen Titans thanks to head writer Steve Marmel. You can really tell the show writers care because there are some really amazing meta jokes in this show like for every time a character has a flashback the characters point out the flashback. I love little jokes like this. Yang, my lop friend, you have a problem. You are becoming addicted to these video games. Addicted? No way. What makes you think I'm addicted? Roll the footage, please. Okay, okay, I get the point. I can show you a montage that proves I'm not addicted. Oh, whatever! Another thing I enjoy is after the end of the theme song, we get a random phrase Yang shouts out in every episode. It's gonna be almost dead! Another thing I love is Yin and Yang's bickering. Hear me out, I know it's weird, but them fighting for stupid reasons is the thing that really makes me crack up in this show. 
Carl the evil cockroach wizard being a mama's boy while also trying to take over the world is just a smart thing to have on a show. The conflict between him and his mom really makes the show for me. So I gotta talk about one of my favorite episodes in Yin Yang Yo. And yes, it's another crossover episode and every time I do a Who Remember series I always mention a crossover, but who doesn't like crossovers? One of my favorite episodes is titled Yin Yang Yu. The episode involves Yin Yang fighting over Lena because it's her birthday. The episode becomes a weird sort of crossover with Jason Earls and Mitchell Musso from Hannah Montana. Recording session with Hannah Montana's Mitchell Musso and Jason Earls for Yin Yang Yo, take 63. They play enemies on the show, but they're clearly pals. What are we gonna do? Watch this. Hey, Mitchell, don't tell Jason this, but you're doing so much better than he is. Thanks. Yeah, you're much better than Mitchell. He's kind of tanky. <laughs> Yin, Yin thinks, thinks I'm doing, doing way better, better than, than you. you. What? She said that you were tanky. Oh, awesome. you're good. Catch Jason Earls and Mitchell Musso in a brand new episode of Yin Yang Yo, Sunday night at 8, 30, 7, 30 central on Disney XD. Yes. Yin and Yang end up jumping through a portal that Carl the Evil Cockroach Wizard has opened. The portal is to Earth. As a result of Yin and Yang being on Earth, they become real bunnies. Meanwhile, Carl the Evil Cockroach Wizard is also tossed into the portal. Carl ends up in a diner where people are scared of roaches. And who isn't scared of roaches? They're slimy, they're crawly, they, they get all over the place. Carl's plan is to take both Jason Earls and Mitchell Musso's hair to block out the sun. It becomes Yin and Yang's mission to save the world and Lena. This episode is my favorite because I enjoy seeing Jason Earls and Micho Musso voicing fake versions of themselves as animated characters. It's everything you want in a cartoon crossover and it's probably the closest thing we'll get to a Hannah Montana animated show. I mean, a man can dream. In conclusion, Ying Yang Yo was one of my favorite shows as a kid and it was a joy to watch every night. This show had amazing and funny moments and some really good heart behind each episode. It lasted two seasons and ended the best way any show from the early 2000s could. My name is Ramen and this was Who Remembers. Until next time, you have a good night. Hey, it's me Jose aka Ramen. I'd like to thank my bro McBurger Deluxe for this awesome collab. And I also recommend you check out his awesome channel. If you like reviews that are funny as hell and with clever editing, I recommend checking his latest video called The Puppet Porn Musical. It's a funny review that kept me laughing for hours. The link will be below. And with that being said, cue the end card.